Yes. It's still. But you can't be any geek off the street. You gotta be handy with the steel if you know what I mean. Keep it real. Keep it real. Keeping it real. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Steven and this is Steel Keeping It Real. So you know what today is. But you love me for my twang. That's right, it is Twang and Tuesday. And on this day, I like to feature country music past, present, or future on the channel. Now, this last one of the evening is a suggestion by my mother. Not the song, but the artist. And the artist is Sammy Kershaw. Because when I was going over things with her, she's like, oh, do you remember Sammy Kershaw? And I remembered the name Sammy Kershaw, but I couldn't tell you anything about Sammy Kershaw. But this song came out in 1993, and the 90s are kind of like a haze to me. There's a lot of things I remember, and there's a lot of things I want to forget about the 90s. But um, there's a possibility I could have heard this song before because, you know, I, I was drinking a lot, and I was in bars, and, you know, that's where I got... You know, not my introduction to country music, but my real acceptance of country music. Because if you got a beer in front of you or a drink in front of you, and somebody puts a quarter in the jukebox to play a song, you got to listen to it. You know, you got to listen to it and then wait for your song to come on. And then maybe you, you might leave after that. Because if you get too many of a certain type of song that you just don't want to hear, then you then you leave. But I have heard of Sammy Kershaw, and the first thing let's do is let's look at this song on the charts. And Blamo, it's a short chart, but it made it to number three on the Canada Country Tracks, and it made it to number seven on the Hot Country Songs Billboard US. So that's something. It, this song did something. And so what uh, else do I need to know about Sammy Kershaw? Sammy Kershaw was born in 58 and more than 25 singles that have entered the top 40 on the Billboard Hot Country song charts. That's a big thing and it lists a whole bunch of other songs that I I don't know if I know it or not. But we will find out. If you like videos like this and others on the channel, please don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification button. Because I'm doing at least 15 videos each and every week. So, without any further ado, let's get to Sammy Kershaw and Queen of my Double Y trailer. And here we go. Man, this is not the idea I had for this video. Ain't no way I'm doing this. This has been done before. Well, I met her out at Murphy's restaurant. She said she was fresh from the farm. And I remember thinking for a country girl that she went pretty well armed. We sat there talking by the lobster tank. I ordered her a slow gin fizz. When them chicken fried steaks hurt on, she said, I like living like this. So I made her the queen of my double white trailer with the polyester curtains and the redwood deck. Now she's run off and I've got the trailer, a tank of black heart and a pretty red neck. Well, a few nights later, I run into her with some stranger on a park bench. She said he reveals engines and his name is Earl. He's the Charlotte Daniels of the Tark Bridge. I whispered, honey, let's just go on home and have some onion rings and watch TV. And as I walked her to the truck, Earl was crying, don't you leave me? I told him this is a
you know, I don't think they can make me do this. I, I'm not going to do it. I, I, I don't think it's in my contract. I don't have to do this. It's crazy. It's crazy. I said, this year's a queen of my double white trailer with the polyester curtains and the redwood deck. Sometimes she runs and I've got the trailer dang her black heart and her pretty red neck. I said, this is a queen of my double white trailer with the polyester curtains and the redwood deck. Sometimes such a bad song it you know, you know it, it seemed like there was more maybe that they wanted to portray but it just didn't come across as far as the video was concerned um even he said like this wasn't what the bit what wasn't the video that i planned on making but if you just listen to the lyrics you know she's the queen of my double white trailer damn her black heart and her little red neck uh, polyester curtains and the uh, red roof deck I mean it's it, it, it screams 1990s uh, country music uh, maybe he was kind of like an outlaw type of dude because he had the leather jacket on and he sounded kind of like an Elvis kind of you know um, I, I'm not even going to attempt to do it at uh, Elvis Presley uh, but he had an Elvis Presley kind of thing and he had the little pompadour kind of going on in the front of his hair you know I, I could hear I could hear this song I haven't heard this song but I could uh, uh, imagine hearing this song in a bar and <laughs> honestly if somebody played this song in the bar I'd be going check please um because I don't think I would be welcome or for a long period of time at a bar that actually played this song. Uh, this is a song, you know, targeted to a direct type of audience, and it's not me. It's definitely not me. Um, I, I appreciate the musicianship within this song and the changes that were going on within the within the composition but again this song is definitely not directed at me um, I do remember an ex-girlfriend that I had uh, we were kind of serious and I remember her father saying like you should get a double wide trailer and I was like no no I'm not living in a trailer uh, I was not brought up to live in a trailer and again there's a certain type of audience that do live in trailers. And I'm not talking down to that particular audience. It's just like I was brought up. No, you're not living in a trailer. You know, I think about it now and there are certain people that, you know, kind of tried to make it look cool. Like Mel Gibson and uh, Lethal Weapon lived in a trailer, but he lived in a trailer on the beach. And then he ended up getting a mobile home on the beach. But uh, other than that, no trailers. It's trailers that track tornadoes. <laughs> they always, especially if it's on the outskirts of town, uh, and I live in a place where we have tornadoes every now and then, and now and again. You know, uh, there there is one trailer park that happens to be in the inner city uh, part of town. You know, east side. I remember one uh, there. But that had a lot of drug activity going on in that area. But on the outskirts, you're just waiting for a tornado to take your home away. You're just waiting for it. Uh, if you are still here, I thank you very much for staying tuned. I really do appreciate it. First and foremost, I want you guys to like the videos as much as I like making them for you. After that, all you need to do to help me out with the channel is to like, subscribe, share, and comment.
Peace.